Ted Forrest defeated Phil Hellmuth heads up in the 2014 World Series of Poker, $1,500 Raz event to win his sixth WSOP gold bracelet and $121,196 in prize money. Card Player TV caught up with him at his bracelet ceremony to learn about his win. I mean, it was I was short stacked from most of the final table, so my goal initially was just to get to the final three. And once we got to the final three, I think Phil had about 600 and Greg Pappas had 600 and I might have had two or 300. So I just kind of had to hang around and let them go to battle and my hands were a little bit handcuffed. I was playing super tight and uh, Phil knocked Greg out, which was good. Uh, I Actually, I, I wanted to play Phil even though I know I, that he was gonna be the tougher opponent. Uh, as a matter of fact, he was my toughest heads up opponent at the World Series ever. And um, I did have a, a little bit of a chip deficit going into it, so I kind of decided early on that I was gonna allow him to almost run me over and win a lot of the small pots. But when the, when the big money went in there, I was gonna make sure I had the best of it. So it's possible that Phil won 60, 65% of the pots, but uh, I won most of the big ones. We also asked Forrest about how being so short stacked affected his strategy. Well generally, uh, I think if players know me, I don't like to fold. But when you're short stacked in that position, you just have to fold and fold and fold and fold again. And uh, it was, I, I was hit with an unusually high amount of high cards, which was very costly. It was costing me heads up 17,000 a hand at uh, 30-60 and uh, 20,000 a hand at 40-80 uh, just to be high card and fold. And uh, I mean, Phil had the luxury of being the high card with say a 10 and re-raising me if he felt weakness, you know, when I'm raising him with a with a four. And I had to fold a lot of that, a lot of those hands. It probably looked really, really ridiculous. But uh, you know, when when he's got that good read on, on me and if I have a, a king jack in the hole, I just can't afford to try to represent. Um, you know, so it came down to a few key hands where he misread me, where he thought I was weak and I was actually very strong, where I just uh, took a lot of chips from him, pulled even with him. Then there was 10 or 12 lead changes uh, back and forth. I mean, you could just see it. I, I mean, I really, really wanted to win this bracelet badly and Phil really, really wanted to win it equally as badly. As Forrest said, it seemed relatively clear to those on the rail at this final table that both players cared more about the bracelet than the money that was on the line. We could have been playing for zero and we would have played just as hard. If it had been me and anybody else, it probably would have lasted half that time. If it had been Phil heads up with anybody else, it probably would have lasted half that time. Uh, and mainly that's because both of us, not only do we want to win so badly, that bracelet, but we also hate to lose even more. I mean, just to come in second can be one of the worst feelings in poker. Even though you did make a nice cash and a payday, you feel like you just got punched in the in the stomach. Until two or three days later, and then it sets in that, hey, I came in second in a, in a World Series of poker tournament, and then you feel, feel good about it. But, but neither one of us wanted to have that slip away and I, I know that I have had a couple of second place finishes that I felt I had let slip away and it's a, it's a bad feeling and I really, really was not going to let this one slip away. Congratulations once again to Ted Forrest, champion of the $1,500 Raz event at the 2014 World Series of Poker.